Yo, there's a bunch of amazing Roblox Godzilla games that currently exist, and today we're gonna get the most pay-to-win kaiju in every single one of them. Freaking Kaiju World, Kaiju Attack Simulator, Monarch World, Kaiju Alpha, Kaiju Arisen, Kaiju Universe, Kaiju Online Odyssey, and Godzilla Return of the Kaiju 2. Project Kaiju is another amazing Godzilla game, but the developers are all beefing with each other right now, and I'd rather just stay out of the drama. First one on the list, Kaiju Worlds. This game's had the Godzilla vs. Kong theme song going for like two years now and i honestly hope they keep it forever when it comes to the most powerful pay to win kaiju in this game there's only one that sticks out above the rest not freaking super godzilla godzilla singular point not even shark jira it is the freaking burning godzilla you don't even necessarily need evidence it's pretty freaking obvious that it's the burning godzilla because it literally costs like it, like a thousand times more than everything else in the game this big sexy bastard it does have a little scratch but it's this dude it's our freaking pulse the pulse is so powerful it deletes anything you don't even see it it's so quick look at those little kaiju over there just existing i'll bet they haven't seen a freaking nuclear in a while because they're like a rarity they're super expensive i'm gonna delete them both with the utmost leisure right now it's gonna be absolutely zero effort deletion don't you run from me. Okay, well, this one then. <laughs> Maybe his buddy also. How many can we get? We got all three of them. That's how it's done right there. I just obliterated all your friends. They cease to exist. Gone. Reduced to atoms. Uh, this guy's just gonna run for his life. You know how strong you gotta be to demonstrate your powers once and then everyone just starts running for their life? You gotta be up there. He's gonna run into the water to save himself. Will it be enough? No. Can I reach him? Can I reach him? No, there's no way. It's not that crazy. Although it did and it killed him. And it killed the guy sneaking up on me too. <laughs> Nuclear Godzilla is definitely the strongest around here. Okay, Kaiju Online Odyssey. I'm very passionate about this game. I've grinded the crap out of this game. Look at what your Kaiju look like once they reach level five and they're maxed out. They get a bonus image that makes them look freaking crazy, dude. See, my shin's only level two. So he looks like a weenie. But look at that burning Godzilla. He's got like a mustache coming out of his eyeballs. Look at level five Zilla. So beautiful. Level zero human. He sucks. Look at the Goji ball though. Level two. He, it's not fancy. But the... Okay, this... This is what it comes down to. Now, here's the issue is the Burning Godzilla in this game is at peak what Burning Godzilla power should be. It's insanely powerful. But then there's Biolanti. Biolanti is the hardest thing to unlock in this game, and it's the greatest Biolanti I've ever seen. It is better than Burning Godzilla, but only if they're touching each other. Otherwise, the Burning Godzilla beam is just unstoppable. This might be my favorite kaiju in any Roblox Godzilla game all across the entire franchise. It's like everyone's got their personal favorite. And this, my, I don't know, I have, a, I have a real thing for Biolanti. It's just such a crazy plant monster, dude. Plus, the freaking thing is the size of a city. Crawls along perfectly how it would. Swims like a monster, and it looks downright gorgeous. They got little Godzilla is next to us. And, and the persecution of the masses, the Shin Godzilla song playing right now, is so beautiful. <laughs> I have to talk over it, though, because it's also extremely copyright. But yes, this Biolanti is the most powerful thing in this game, and probably my favorite kaiju in all of Roblox. Kaiju Attack Simulator. Now this one's confusing, because all the kaiju are equally as strong as each other, which makes things very, very confusing. Every kaiju comes with one to three attacks and does the same amount of damage. Basically has the same amount of health. So there's really nothing that's like the strongest that sticks in. Oh my God, that sticks out that much in this game. Everything's pretty much equal. Why was it included on the list? I don't know. Okay, Godzilla Return of the Kaiju 2. What's the most pay to win Kaiju in this game? Let's go into Game Pass Morphs and see what we could purchase. I've already bought everything, so I don't know why I'm acting surprised. I haven't played it in a bit. Okay, it's a freaking tough one. They got Burning Godzilla Anime Mecha Godzilla from the Godzilla Earth anime. They have Godzilla Earth, Planet Eater Ghidorah, Frozen Shin Godzilla, and fire godzilla i'm gonna have to go ahead and give oh shoot because it's up oh, no, no, oh god what's what's more powerful here it's either godzilla earth or planet eater Ghidorah. it's not the anime it might be the mecha Ghidorah. no i feel like godzilla earth is known to be stronger but it's planet eater Ghidorah. you know what i'm saying it's what's more powerful in the game not what's more powerful in the anime in the game it's gotta be planet eater here we are in all our mighty beauty we extend up into the into the beautiful gaping hole in the sky there's only this little Godzilla right here to test my powers out on, but he'll he'll do just fine. 
Actually, we didn't even do that much damage. What the crap? <laughs> Dude, that's dookie. We're actually not doing that much damage. Never mind. Maybe this thing sucks. Let's go ahead and try out Godzilla Earth. I feel like a fool. Here, we can go ahead and try out our massive capabilities on these buildings down here. They shall be the testers, since it will take me approximately 37 years to walk to where Kaiju are. It does have the tail whip. The tail whip is everything. Ooh, the tail whip didn't do a giant seismic blast like it usually does, though. That's kind of dookie. I don't know, man. This thing is so freaking incredible. It's like one of the coolest Mecha Godzillas in all of Roblox, but it only has the tail attack and the freaking, what is it? The hyper lance? Yeah, this, which is still pretty crazy. A giant lance that's hyper? It's gonna end up being burning Godzilla, isn't it? That's what's gonna happen. All right, let's chest, let's chest out these buildings. How do you hold up against the... I don't know, they're being destroyed pretty... Not that well, actually, dude. Not that well whatsoever. Here we go. Some kaiju. Let's go start stabbing them with stuff and see how that turns out, dude. We barely did any damage to that guy just now. Oh my god. Bro, AIDS kills people quicker than us. And that stuff takes years. I don't think it's this Mecha Godzilla. This guy's pretty stinking weak. Actually, you know what it legitimately might be? Let's test out that breath. Why is the breath through shooting at the floor? <laughs> There, okay, the breath not being aimable is a huge point deduction. This burning Godzilla has meltdown though. A giant meltdown self-destruct button. So let's go ahead and see what this does. This might be the decider right here. Did he just quit on me the second I freaking, oh my God. No, he just died. That's what happened. Okay, I thought he quit. Ooh, that just insta-killed the Kaiju though. That's pretty freaking impressive right there. But there we go. Oh my God. Okay, see, this Mecha Godzilla has more health than me. Plus, he's literally freaking Mecha Godzilla. But use it, he's using his atomic breath. You'd think he'd destroy me. But using my Venom ability, the Venom ability is gonna decimate Mecha Godzilla, which doesn't even make sense because the dude's not even like, he's, he's a robot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He doesn't even have a bloodstream. Venom can't even affect him like that. But look at his health dropping like crazy, dude. It's dropping like a toddler off a. Hang on, what am I... <laughs> either way, either way, it's dropping. The dude is about to drop dead and I've barely even scathed. It's actually kind of sad. Look how much health he has left. So it's like, sure, Burning Godzilla may be super powerful in this, but Burning Godzilla also had to die to get that done, whereas I literally didn't even get touched right there. I could just go fly off and do that to Kaiju after Kaiju. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and have to give it to the board bat. I'm sorry. Kaiju Alpha. Now this one, it almost gets confusing on some of these because you can't buy these, so they're not pay to win at all, but it's still like the most powerful kaiju you could get around here this is actually difficult it's either that no that developer kaiju might be the most powerful though it's got a tree sticking out of it i don't have access to it i'm not a developer also i forgot to max my godzilla earth it's only level 23 okay don't judge me i got sick that week <laughs> that's what happens when you live off pre-workout and red bull and you're a grown man who doesn't sleep there's a little godzilla in my stomach little turd look at him in there He's just breathing me from the inside. Get out of my body. I'm stuck in Aurora mode. I can't even, he's just in there, man, like a chest burster. This is going to be awkward because my Godzilla Earth is not the strongest. It is the strongest Godzilla in this game, the strongest Kaiju, but only once you get it to the max level, which mine is not. This game is so awesome though for adding Godzilla Earth like this. Most games would not add a Godzilla Earth, but they added it in a really balanced way. Like it's not, it doesn't just, it's really slow. So it's easy to escape. It's easy to get away from. And they go up to level like 350. I have a subscriber who's at level 350, I think. They go, they go, they go up a lot. So they can get a lot more powerful. Plus it's got some of the craziest moves in all of Roblox. I'm definitely drawing the attention of too many people. I'm about to get teamed on brutally. Cause I'm just testing out moves in the middle of Tokyo. Look at that damage range though from that attack. That was beautiful. The second I attack one of those little Godzillas, I'm gonna get mobbed. It's like a bunch of angry little people trying to devour me. Oh, now I'm definitely gonna get mobbed because I just actually hurt like five of them. It's what happens when you're large and beautiful. Step on him, Johnny. I think someone died down there. I can't even tell. They're all so little. I'm just like mushing grapes, but instead of grapes, it's Godzilla bones. Something's getting mushed up. Oh, big mush. I'm about to die. I pissed off too many people. I think another person just died. I think everyone beneath me just died. Godzilla Earth isn't even at my low level. Everyone just gets obliterated so stinking easily, dude. That piercing beauty. It's got like James Bond eyes. Pretty self-explanatory why this is the strongest kaiju in this game. Okay, kaiju arisen. Kaiju arisen is almost a tricky one. This game's got so many kaiju. It was 
it was Final Wars Godzilla a few months ago. That was the most powerful thing in this game by far. But it was too strong. It was killing everything. Even I tested it. You were able to kill like 30 kaiju before someone eventually brought you down. Now that power once again falls into the hands of the beautiful Destroya. Destroya is absolutely the most powerful thing in this game. Obviously, it's freaking Destroya. This dude looks like Puri Puri Prisoner from One Punch Man, but also a Destroya. It's actually beautiful. The Care Bear heart on his chest, the little heart sprinkles all around it, really adds insult to injury when you kill people. And yes, if you missed the video when we showcased this thing, it does have a little Cupid's bow, so you are able to kill people, but also make them find their true love. And then once I'm up here peacefully, just absorbing his beam, just letting him get me, because it doesn't really mean anything. He's not gonna... Whoa, when both of them do it, it's different! Oh my god, teamers! <laughs> but look, even as he gets close, so close, so close, he can almost get me with his melee. He's hoping for it, but not close enough, because I'm the only one who can fly around here. Look at these two fighting off against the powers of love. God, he gets to use his beams so often. <laughs> it's a whole other game when you gotta worry about teamers, man. Oh God, more beams are coming. I know they're coming at me. I know it's coming at me, man. Get behind the mountain, get behind the mountain, get behind. No! <laughs> but it was too late. I'm just gonna get this guy over here. Yeah, both of you hide and cower behind the mountain while I hide behind this beautiful Japanese village. This game has so many god-powered kaiju, and I don't mean like Godzilla, like there's just, it's it's almost going to be difficult to figure out what the, see, it's got the adult Cloverfield monster in cartoon Godzilla. It is crazier though. I've spent at least like $100 in this game. I don't even know why. I just did. Shin cartoon Godzilla. I need to get that. <laughs> I don't have that. It's not one of the strongest, but I need it. Here we get into the strongest. Godzilla Earth. Pretty freaking strong. A planet eater Ghidorah. Pretty amazingly strong. Almost hard to pick a strongest between those two. But it's Hell Godzilla. Hell Godzilla is the god around here. Or should I say the devil? Oh, that was spooky, Johnny. Is there a plane flying across the sky? That's just plain silly. <laughs> plain humor. This map has changed like crazy, dude. Fukushima, Tokyo, Florida. This game has updated so beautifully. And look at that in Orga. Orga's just been added. He's going to be the perfect way to demonstrate my god powers on the fleshy mortals of this world. He's only got 3,000 health. I have 800,000 health. And he got obliterated. <laughs> Unlimited power. Where is somebody else? It's gonna be hard to find people. The map is so big and we are so small. Monarch World is definitely insane. Uh, some people might argue with me down below saying Void Eater Ghidorah is stronger than Godzilla in Hell. Even Godzilla Earth maybe being stronger than Godzilla in Hell. Even the adult Cloverfield monster somehow, but no, I assure you. This thing is like peak, peak power right here. I've made the skies cry. Or it's just raining. Or I made the skies cry. Okay, so pay to win Kaiju in Kaiju Universe. The big finale. It's a freaking difficult one because there's only a handful of ones that you can even buy. Frozen Godzilla, it's it's literally between, I'd say it's between Frozen Behemoth and Burning Godzilla. But in a melee fight, I'll give it to Frost Behemoth, but in a ranged fight, I'll give it to Burning Godzilla. And most fights start out ranged, so there's like a whole issue there. I freaking love going in all black skin for burning because then it doesn't even look like a burning. You know, it looks like a heisei, and then, and then when it burns, you it's like confusing and such who which one of you turns i think there's just a couple of siblings killing each other well you're just a dumb monkey kill him johnny get him get him in the face prove dominance over the ape i actually haven't used burning godzilla in a while what's the meta I, it's like you don't even need to know the meta is the thing the fact that it could just spam its beams out is like enough of a crazy thing there's no point running away from him because he's just gonna beam the crap out of you he's gonna try though he's gonna try and run away from me that's what he does. But it will make a little to no difference. Oh no, he doesn't even have his axe anymore. His axe is gone. Your axe is your only chance at domination. God, melee recharges quicker than I thought it did. It don't matter. He's gonna run or he's gonna die. Either way, I fought Goofy. I haven't used Burning Godzilla in a while. But the point is because of that freaking atomic breath spray that you can just keep doing it over and over again, this becomes the most pay to win kaiju. It, nuclear is pretty good also back there, but mm, nuclear was so much better a few months ago. 
He's coming at me right now, though. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think, because Frost Behemoth is also really freaking good. It's actually a, a close up, but you, again, you gotta like get up close and you gotta hit the moves. Like you gotta do the right moves. I'm sure there's a few Roblox games I missed. There's so many Godzilla games. I'll cover more in the next one. It's just, I try not to keep these videos from being too long. You know what I'm saying? But leave a like on the video if you guys wanna see more stuff like this. Vote for your favorites down below. This nuclear Godzilla wants to get to me so bad. I have to go pee though. I'm not trying to fight anybody. Get out of here. Go kiss your father. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.